Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm making my stuffed acorn squash. First, I am going to peel these carrots and then slice and dice them into small pieces. Remember to be careful when you slice and dice with a knife. I am not an expert at cutting things with a knife. I learned how to in a restaurant when I was younger, at working as a teenager, and we only used a bread knife when we worked there to cut vegetables, fruits, and everything else. So. That's what I'm using here, a bread knife. I'm comfortable with using this bread knife, which means I'm probably less likely to have an accident with it. I've used really nice quality knives in the past that are really sharp and I have cut myself and I have ended up in the ER. So please remember to be careful while you're cutting up your vegetables for your dinner. Now I'm going to move along and slice up this onion into small pieces. Here I have my enamel cast iron skillet. I set the heat on medium high and I'm adding my carrots and onions to the pot and sauteing them. Here I'm adding some granulated garlic. It's about a teaspoon. I'm also adding some granulated onion, another teaspoon, a teaspoon of chopped onion, about a sixth of a teaspoon of cloves, and some pink Himalayan sea salt, that was about half a teaspoon. Stir that all together and saute it. Here I'm adding some tops and raisins to the mix. It adds a nice sweetness with all the savory that's going on in this dish and my kids and my husband love them in there. Next, I'm gonna add the pre-cooked turkey sausage that I got in my grocery haul to the pot. You can add any protein in that you like. It will all taste good. Here is some wild rice. It's one cup of wild rice to one and a half cups of water. I add some chicken better than bouillon base to it, about a tablespoon. Mix it up and let it cook until it's done. Next, I add one cup of uncooked white rice to the Dutch oven. Make sure you thoroughly wash your white rice. I wash and rinse mine out about five times to get all the starch out. Stir the rice in and then add water until the whole mixture is covered. And then you replace the lid and cook on medium low for about 15 minutes. Here I'm cutting up the acorn squash and taking the seeds out. Be careful while you do this. It's easy to cut yourself with a really sharp knife. I always use my bread knife because it's a little bit safer than using those really sharp knives. And I have a history of going to the ER for being cut while I make dinner. <laughs> you can save the seeds and dry them out and use them in your garden or compost them to your chickens. I place the acorn squash open face down on parchment paper, cover it with parchment paper and cover it with foil and bake it at 375 for about 20 minutes. Here I am just de-seeding and cutting up a honeydew melon for tonight's dessert. We go through about one honeydew melon a night with my family. Make sure to be careful when you're cutting fruit. Make sure your knife doesn't slip and you don't cut yourself. After 20 minutes, take off your lid, add your wild rice that's cooked, stir it all together, and then take out your acorn squash. When you take out your acorn squash, be careful not to burn yourself, flip them over, and then fill each one as full as you can with the filling that you just made on the stove. I pack mine really full because we like a lot of filling with our squash. After this, I replace the parchment paper and foil and bake it for another 45 minutes at 375.
When it's ready, serve it by itself or with a little bit of extra filling on the side. I like to cover ours with Parmesan cheese. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content.